<sighs> right, where the bloody hell is he? He said six o'clock on the dot. What's keeping you? Hey, I heard that. It's 5.59. Well, I make it 6.01 and so does the clock beside me. Oh, don't be so bloody dumb. Look, does it even really matter? Yeah, well, funnily enough, yeah, it does matter. It's important to me. It's important to me too. Really? <laughs> really? Well, your actions suggest otherwise. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Here I plan to stay. Well, that's hardly keeping an open mind, is it? Oh, my mind is open, all right. To unlimited possibilities. What possibilities? We're on a lockdown. Unless... I can dream. I know, boy, am I dreaming. Right. Where the bloody hell is this person? It's almost... 602. Hey, 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 let's just try and stay relaxed there eh, if we're going to get anything out of this thing. I am relaxed. Uh -huh. I am. I am. Hello, hello. Sorry I'm running a little bit late for our session. <laughs> I told you. Oh no, that's a very negative gesture. We must need to keep an open mind. That's what I keep saying. The lockdown can do funny things to people's minds. I, I keep saying that too. Oh, that is good. I can see, Joe, that we're going to get on well. How do you know my name? It's on the screen, love. Oh. oh Charlie, yeah. that's the second time. We must be positive at all times. Now, would you like to give me some background on matters at hand? Yeah. It, uh, why does Charlie get to go first? Well, I always like to start with the person who made the appointment. Mm. Oh yeah, well that one's good at starting things all right. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, well, <laughs> the relationship isn't great, clearly. Uh, it's nobody's fault. It hasn't been for a while now. And why do you think that is, Charlie? What isn't great? Uh, we're different people. We want different things. Mm. Such as? Let it all out. You can tell, Stevie. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, I'm in a well-paid job. I'm in senior management. I, uh, I need stimulation, mental. Stimulation, proper stimulation. We all know what stimulation you're on about. Well, um, what do you think Joe wants? Uh, a simple life to get up, go to work, come home, make dinner, watch TV, and then go to bed and do it all over again. I want, uh, I need adventure. Mm. Okay, thank you, Charlie. Now, Joe. Is that what you want? Well, it's a bit difficult during the week with work and stuff, but I'm up for a bit of adventure at the weekend. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Isn't that good, Charlie? <laughs> what? Who wants to spice things up and have some weekend adventures? <sighs> Joe's idea of spicing things up is running a half marathon. That is not my idea of fun. I, I would much rather prefer to... Uh, uh. Go on. Yes, go on. Okay. Um, I would much rather prefer to... Uh, what, what you would call indoor sports. <laughs> you mean sex? It's interesting that you seem rather coy about it, Charlie. You're both attractive people. I know it's difficult at the moment being in different places, but you could try some online sex talk. Ah, uh, no, we, we tried that, but it's far too embarrassing talking like that online. Only because you are such a prude. Really? I find that hard to believe. Uh, Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Um, how come you're in uh, separate places? 
Uh, well, we were planning on moving in together, but then the lockdown happened. And you wanted me to move in with you? I have the bigger place. <laughs> and better, according to you. Look, it's more convenient for my work, and yes, it is better than your little shoebox of an apartment there. Right, so I'd have to be the one that has to travel more. I work longer hours. I'm on my feet all day. Oh my god. You work in a library, which, or a bookshop, whatever it is, which by the way, it boggles my mind how you got that job. Right, what is that supposed to mean? Well, <laughs> that's brought a few issues out into the open. <laughs> As I said before, being in lockdown, it can do funny things to people's minds. But it can also make us focus on what we really want. Joe, what is it that you want? Well, when we do speak online, Charlie's usually too busy to stay on for long. I'm still working. You mean on your novel, not publishing work? Please, let's try and not interrupt each other. Carry on, please, Joe. Feels like, feels like I'm being ignored. I take it you're not working at the moment? No, the bookshop's closed. Mm. Perhaps you could set aside certain times each week, you know, to speak to each other and really make an effort to talk. How does that sound? Charlie? Yeah. yeah. We just don't seem to have anything to talk about. I mean, before this, I never really noticed, but now it's... Yes, I know what you mean. This lockdown, it's very hard on people, you know? Especially if you are living on your own. Yeah, I mean, the only thing keeping me sane is getting out for a run. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm getting no end of writing done. And yet, every time I try and speak to you, you always say I'm interrupting your creative flow. And you're always banging on about your running. Oh, for Christ's sakes, you two. Just listen to yourselves. You're making no effort to make things work. We're all in the same situation here, cooped up, cooped up in a box. We don't all have the pleasure of having a garden, no? Speak for yourself. Charlie. <laughs> just, <laughs> just congratulations. Yes, congratulations on your writing spree. I'm so, so glad you can find creativity. Excuse me? Some of us are stuck. Stuck on the same poem about a bloody kettle. I mean, other than petal and metal, what rhymes with kettle? You do know that poems don't actually need to, uh, to rhyme. rhyme. Yes! <laughs> Thanks for that, Shakespeare. <laughs> Metal. And as for running, I mean, there's only so many times you can run up and down. Up and down the hallway. Well, there's no need to be like that. I mean, in my humble opinion, you two seem like, hmm, how can I put it? You like opposite Lego bricks. Charlie, you're like that one that has that really weird curve. Excuse me? And Joe, well, <laughs> you're like that long bit with about 10 dots on it. You don't fit, or you don't try to fit. Why don't you just fit? Um... Never mind. My point is that if you at least try to fit, adapt to each other, Compromise with time, because let's be honest, time is the one thing we all have plenty of at the moment. Well, if you do that then, well, you might be more like the little Lego block and the chubby long one. They at least fit. Right. Be kind to each other. Stop picking at each other like a pigeon eating the last crumbs of bread on a beachfront. Hey, I hate pigeons. Stop scoring points off one another. Try to fit in with each other. 
then the castle will be built and stand. Castle? Or don't. Go your separate ways. The important thing is, if you're both happy within yourselves, then you can be happy together. Are you okay, Stevie? Yeah, do, do you have anyone to talk to? Me? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> We're here to talk about you two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but do you speak to anyone else apart from us strangers? My food. Your food? Yes. There's Polly Potato, Sydney Sweet Corn. Oh, and then there's Ralph. Ralph. My bear. Say hello, Ralph. Hello. Ralph says hello to you both. <laughs> Stevie, have you got any other family? Right. Ralph says that's time. <laughs> Same time tomorrow. Can we just um, contact you later? Yes, that's my food. Hope this has been helpful. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> right, William. <laughs> <laughs> That was something. Yeah, yeah, quite surreal, eh? Oh. Stevie did have a point, though. What about running up and down the hallway, or? No, oh, uh, about deciding whether we should be together or not. Yeah, I guess so. Well. What, you want me to go first? Yeah, oh, why don't you make a decision for once in your life? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> How about we both say it after three? Okay. Uh, one. Two. Three. Three.